G'day guys, Ben from SCF here. Uh, we're out in the Scout Sport Fish 195 today. Gonna be running you guys through a shallow water snapper a technique how to video. Um, we're gonna run through gear, technique, your approach, how to come into zones, all that kind of stuff. We'll try and cover it all off today and hopefully get some fish as well. So yeah, stick around. So we've just come in on, our, on, the, on the little bit of reef section that we're gonna be fishing today. It kind of comes up from about 15 up into five, back down into about eight. We kind of fish the whole zone pretty actively. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in big long drifts. Now we've driven, we haven't buzzed through our spot. We've come right in around it. That's really important. If you're gonna fish an area, don't run through it and sound. Don't drive over it to get to the other side of it to start your drift. Trust that there's, you know there's good ground there and come right around it and put a big drift in over it. We're gonna probably be putting in like a eight to one kilometer drift today, 800 meter to one K drift today, right over this rubbly stuff. There is a little bit of wind this afternoon. We are in a heavy boat. So we're gonna put out the Drogue Sea Anchor. Basically, it's just a big parachute. So pull up one of your back cleats, let it out, let it pull up water, and it'll just slow your drift down. At the moment, our drift is about 0.9 of a knot. This will slow us right down to about 3.3. .3. And it'll just give us way more time to cover the ground and actively fish the area. Let's fish. So guys, in terms of gear that you want to use, um, the setup I'm using today, we've got a Zodius uh, 7 to 14 pound. It's a seven foot. You probably don't want to go anything under seven foot. The whole, the whole aim of the game with this shallow water snapper stuff is to put in big casts ahead of your drift. So you can even go up to, I've got another combo that's seven four that casts really well. It's also that those bigger, like longer combos are really good in a bit more wind. We've got the 3,000 twin power here, 15 pound braid, 16 pound leader, quarter ounce jig head, and we're using the Z-Man Streaks. The coconut ice, ice color is a go-to of mine, um, and a go-to for a lot of people on in this, in this sort of Queensland area, this sort of southern Queensland area. It's a really good starter color. It, it normally outshines everything. It's really good in low light. Um, so yeah, that's a really good spot for you guys to start. Um, basically, technique-wise with this style of fishing is we do use the special sauce too. Cheers, Dana. So you will see that I've got a gel coating or a bit, of, a bit of gooey stuff on the lure. I'm a big believer in this stuff, not so much this brand in particular, but any of, any of the special sauces or the scented stuff. It, it really just, it can solidify the bite. It can really be the difference between getting the bite or not getting the bite. It, it, it can be the difference between the conversion. So I'm a big, I'm a firm believer in it. It can't hurt, so put it on. Guys give you shit about it, put it on, it's good stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll run through some technique here. So we've set up here, we're on it, we're, we're going for a big long drift through this reef section. You wanna put a big cast up drift. Cast up drift, wind in your slack. Now you wanna be in contact with your lure at all times with this style of fishing. So basically what you're doing is you're looking for a slow sink on that lure. It's basically just sinking down the water column and the snapper will hit it on the drop. Nine times out of 10 will hit it on the drop. Just wanna line, wind that slack in. As soon as you get that bow in your line, you wanna take it up. Cause you wanna be ready to go. If you see that tick in your line, you wanna be ready to set hooks and get into him. Once you're near the bottom, a few pretty jagged or pretty pretty aggressive hops up and then let it sink back down. Again, you probably won't ever get hit on the hop up. You'll mostly get hit on the drop down. So you're just always watching that line, waiting for that tick. Once it gets kind of 10 meters to the boat, in this shallow water, wind in and cast again. But you're really focusing on those big, long casts. This is where the drogue is really important. It slows your drift down, which gives you more time for your lure to sink. More, more hang time in the water, basically, and you're not, your boat's not catching up to your lure as quickly. So we're gonna pep in this zone pretty hard and hopefully get a few fish for you guys.
so we've just picked up a snaps and oh and there it goes. Oh no. Have we got Carla? <laughs> oh, he's a good fish. He's a good fish, bras. Oh, we've got Carla. We've oh. got Carla. We've got a good snap. Play him sloth. You're right. You're right. You're right. Get him up. Get him up. Well done, bruh. You're right. You're right. You're right. There he is. Hey, Carla. 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 This is the sort of quality fish you can get in your shallows. We're in like eight meters of water here. We're just off, as you can probably see the lights in the background, we're just off a headland. Get out, try your shallow water snapper. It's heaps of fun. It's heart in your mouth sort of stuff. There's a heap